Hey now. Hey now, hey now, hey now. We are live. Hey now. Let's get the word out. Hey, Alice. God, every time I look at Twitter, Ezra Miller's trending, and it's, you know, it's not going to be anything good, right? <laughs> I'm not even going to look at it, because you know it ain't going to be nothing good. All right. Let me... I feel like this is not high enough. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's much better. Void of negative energy. Yeah. Exactly. A void of fuck shit. Alright. Here comes a void of fuck shit. Well, it's my first day on the uh, the big old horse pills. Because I feel like I feel like so much time has passed since the last stream. Like it was only I only took one day off, right? I took yesterday off. I didn't stream yesterday, but it really feels like yesterday was like oh at least a week long. I'm sitting here like, do I remember how to stream? Like, what? <laughs> like, what's going on here? What buttons do I press? It, it, it. Honestly, it feels like, yeah. Yesterday, Wednesday was it was at least a week, week long. It was two weeks now with no Pokemon's. Yeah, that's true. But like, last time I I took off Wednesday for you know we didn't do Pokemon was because um. Well, I was. What was it? Was like was that when I was? That was when I was calling the, uh, the dentist and making arrangements and whatnot, right? And then I got the appointment, so I was like, all right, well, I gotta miss another Wednesday, and next week I gotta miss Friday. But um, that didn't feel like when I did that that last Wednesday where we where I took last Wednesday off and didn't do Pokemon. Um, it didn't feel like a long time passed. You know what I mean? It was just, oh, it was a day off. But it really feels like I haven't done this in like a week. You know? It's weird. And I, and I think it's just, you know, being 15% pill by volume. You know? Uh, you just do it, but it's just like the feeling is weird. Like, wow, it's been a long time, and I and I think I know why. I think I know why because I think that you know, even though last week I didn't stream on Wednesday, right? I still was at the computer for a good amount of time. Like, I was still sitting here doing stuff, right? Whereas uh, yesterday, I pretty much did not touch the PC. I I came home. And I got on voice chat for like a little while, and I spoke to to Alice and and you, Gray, and and uh, I think Moogle was there for a little while, and then I was just like, I can't sit in this chair. I gotta go lay down. And I pretty much spent the whole fucking afternoon, evening, and night in bed, you know, feeling like crap. And I said, to, I said to mom, uh, I said, man, I feel like such shit. I feel like so, like I was like, getting the chills, and and it's like it's it's crazy how you could get basically you could get sick from a tooth because that's basically what happened, right? And I've been feeling kind of off for like a while now, but this was really bad yesterday. Like yesterday, like at one point I feel like I'm gonna throw up. At one point, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. You know, and. 
Um, you know, it's just it's just wild that happens on my mother says to me, yeah, it sounds like you really needed the pills like yesterday. I, and I said, well, you know, I needed them a few days before that, if we're being honest. But, you know, you, you get appointments when you can. Um, it's good it didn't make it into your bloodstream. I feel like it probably did, and that's why I, feel, I felt so crappy. Now, as for, like, all of those symptoms that I was feeling yesterday, I'm not really feeling them today. Like, I don't have pain in weird spots in my body. I'm not feeling like I'm going to puke. I have an appetite today. So there's that. I'm still not, you know, feeling, like, great, but definitely I've taken two two doses of the amoxicillin so far, and already I, there's, like, an improvement, you know? Because that's what they said at the at the dentist. They said, you know, it, it gets down there. Because they said, I feel, like, so crappy, and they said, yeah, it gets into your bloodstream, and it just fucks with you, you know? Uh, they didn't say fucks with you, but, you know, <laughs> they were a lot more professional there. Improvement is improvement. Exactly. It's a big improvement, to be honest with you. Because yesterday, like, I had the chills. It was just bad, you know? The one thing that I was concerned about, you know, because, in, you know, infections going haywire was, was actually, like, getting a fever, you know? But I, I never got a fever. If anything, my temperature kept going down. Anyway. You had soft pretzel bites with beer cheese and honey mustard with wings? Jesus Christ. I had pizza. <laughs> pizza was good, but that sounds so good. What were we, like, oh, German fare or something? Like, wow, that sounds good. So now that I'm a little more, I guess lucid is the word. I'm not lucid, but I, I, I'm, I'm not as tired and, and, and haggard as I was yesterday. And I can tell you guys, like, the full story of, like, what happened to, you know, yesterday. Uh, that I, so, you know, I got there uh, pretty early. The appointment was actually at 10, but because it was a new patient, they wanted to get me in early to do paperwork, which is all on an iPad anyway. And um, filled all that out. And they took me after maybe another 20 minutes, right? And I went back there, and it, you know, they... They, it was very cold back there, which is interesting. I said, oh, man, it's chilly back here. And the girl that was with me says, yeah, the, the doctor likes to crank the AC. It's like, damn, was it Dr. David Letterman? Holy shit, right? So, you know, the girl that brings you back, like, I think she's the dental hygienist, right? I think that's the title that they get, right? And then, and I swear, I spent maybe five minutes with her right and then maybe about a minute and that's being and that's being generous with the doctor Italian sausage soup that sounds good and there goes your nipples again what oh <laughs> turkey's done no but so I go back there and you know she asks me what the problem is you know like she kind of already knew but she was asking me like what's going on and I explained it hey BB guy and, you know, I told her, and she looks into my mouth, and she says it looks like the tooth is, is like, cracked. Like, and so she takes an x-ray. You know, she puts the thing in my mouth, puts the lead apron on me, says, bite down on this, hits a button. It comes up on the screen. It's, like, amazing technology. It happens so quickly, right? And, uh, and she, you know, she calls in the, the doctor, and he takes one look at the screen and he goes, oh, well, that's no good. You know, <laughs> I swear the doctor spent like a minute with me at, at the most. And he goes, oh, that's no good. And he said, he looks at it, he goes, well, we're going to put you on antibiotics and then we'll uh, schedule you in for extraction. And I was like, oh, I'm really relieved that you said that because I don't want to deal with like, you know, expensive root canals and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I know, guys. I know. I know. I know Gibbs. And and he says, yeah, you, you couldn't do a root canal on this tooth. This tooth is done, right? And he says it's going to have to be surgical extraction because basically it's 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 like in pieces, you know? And let me let me see if I can um, bring up something a visual aid here. So I can explain. Okay, here we are, right? I got a diagram of a tooth up. And I'm gonna use this as a visual aid to sort of explain what's going on. Let's 
Oh, damn it. Hold on one second. Okay. Uh, let me just throw this on. Getting a little bit of buffering. Uh, unlike last time, that's not on my end. I'm not actually dropping frames like I was during... Uh, uh, Ender Lilies the other day. So... This is like the part of your tooth that you see, and this is the, the root structure, right? Now, I, part of this was chipped off. That was an issue that was going on for a while, right? But what the x-ray revealed was that, like, I, I don't know which side. We'll say this side. This part here, like, the, the, it, to down here, was just gone. It's just not there at all, right? Just not even there. And then this one has like a crack in it, you know? And so basically they're going to have to not only just pull out the tooth, but they they call it surgical extraction. They're going to have to go and make sure they get every last bit of it out. Um, and that's happening next Friday. So, you know. I'm unenthused about the idea of you know, anesthesia and, and, and cutting and all that, but at the same time, I'm just like, just get rid of this fucking tooth, right? So that being said, uh, that's what's happening next Friday. So, yeah, um, you know, so that was pretty much it. They, they gave me the prescription uh, for amoxicillin and also for a really high dose of Motrin, 800 milligrams. The amoxicillin I'm taking three times a day and the Motrin is four times a day as needed. I haven't been taking, I haven't been taking it four times a day. I'm only taking it when it hurts. No, I actually only have, as far as I know, one wisdom tooth that has ever made itself known. And that was this one here. It's sort of like erupted through the gum slightly and then just sort of stayed there and never caused any sort of issues. I think there might be another one here, but it it's dormant and the top ones don't even seem to exist to be honest with you. So I've never had wisdom teeth removed or anything, you know. I'm going to be honest with you. This is only the second time I've been to a dentist in my adult life. Uh barely ever went as a kid, you know. It was something that more my sister would be taken to the dentist because she always had uh cavities. Whereas I, I had no problems, you know? And then when, of course, when I do have a problem, it turns out to be a nightmare. <laughs> I take pretty good care of my teeth, but it's just one of those things that, you know, it's like you could take care of yourself and be in perfect health, and then one day you get cancer, right? You could take care of your teeth, and then one day one of them goes bad. It's just one of those things, right? Yeah, surprise, new teeth, bitch. Yeah, your your adult teeth come in like like before you even get puberty, right? Like you don't you're not even you're prepubescent when your adult teeth come in. You you know, I seem to remember it happening when I was like 8 or 9, get you know, losing the baby teeth and having the adult teeth come in. And then suddenly when you're 25, four new teeth could start to just show up, right? If you were not currently breathing, you could swear that you and I were the same person. What makes you say that? Yeah. yeah, I seem to remember being like eight or nine when I got like the teeth were falling out and, you know. I mean, actually they were falling, they, they started falling out before that. It's when you started getting all the adult teeth in. It was when maybe around eight or nine. I think, I think you could start losing baby teeth at maybe like Maybe six, even, you know? So you, you, you're not really an adult when you get your adult teeth. But then there's wisdom teeth that come in in your 20s. You know? Sometimes, maybe. That's just one of those things. So, yeah, so we're going back next Friday for the surgical extraction. And hopefully that just is pretty painless and, 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 and done with. And then, you know, obviously I'm not going to stream next Friday uh, days after that I'm not sure like hopefully I can bounce back pretty quick like hopefully I'll be able to stream on Saturday I don't know to be honest with you right uh, your top wisdom teeth are conspicuous in their absence oh I see yeah. but uh, just to bring it up again 
I don't want to bang this drum too hard, but just to bring it again, up again, I do not have any form of insurance on this. Uh, the only thing that I have in, in terms of assistance here is a good, good RX card that really comes through on prescriptions, but the surgery is expensive, and I do need to pay for it, so I do have the PayPal open for anyone that wants to contribute. A bunch of you guys already did. Um, it's, it's a $400 surgery, and I actually only need $85 left, down to that. So you guys have really come through with everything, but if we could close that gap and just get rid of that last $85, the, pay, the PayPal is necrovmx at gmail.com. It is also on the Discord, and if you want to contribute anything, any amount is good. Uh, make sure that you put it as friends and family and that you put something a note on it like to help pay for dental procedure that way you don't get like a I don't get taxed and you don't get feed you know but yeah so you guys have been really good about that so I only I only need $85 at this point not that much but, you know and we have till next Friday so I'm, I'm not that worried about it but I figured I should bring it up on stream where the hell is my water oh there it is I don't think I even have wisdom teeth on the top. I guess I could reach back there and feel like... Oh, I don't think so. I really don't... Not on that side. Is that room for him? <laughs> it's nothing there, yeah. Just the molars. I don't understand the point of wisdom teeth, right? Like, what? what, what is that even? What is that, that at some point you need another molar? Maybe comes in and maybe doesn't. Maybe it comes in sideways and maybe it. Yeah, who knows, right? But I've come to appreciate what EB has said about uh, their brother's take on what teeth are that they're luxury bones. <laughs> I understand that fully. Answering June. One second. Stop. <coughs> Stop. Um, yeah, though, BB guy. I mean, I guess what I'll say, it'll be like that. But yeah, like if you if you were to donate something and, and you had like a specific request and I was able to fulfill it, I absolutely would. You know, absolutely. It, if it's something that I have or have access to, you know. That being said, uh, let's play the intro and get going here. No running in the halls! Don't tell me what to do! I'm running in the halls! Ah, fuck the police! I know a BJD is a ball, a ball joint, ball jointed doll, but I'm just thinking of ball jerk dick. When your last name is Fail, becoming a doctor doesn't even help all that much. I'm just gonna take this stick and shove it so far up my ass, I'll be singing Christmas songs with it! In the lava you go- oh shit! I deserve that. Ooh! I don't know what's going on! Hello, I am Overdesigned McWeirdo. Hi, I'm Create a Character from Soul Calibur. Nice! 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 Work on it, Sten! Y'all yeah, better respect my trans hermans before I change your pronouns to words were. Bitch. Hey, I've been a bad golem. Oh, yeah, give it to me. Oh, I like it. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, from behind. Hey, now. Here we are. So let's, um, see if we can remember where the hell I am in this game. Like, I know I was doing Peacock Nation stuff. I think I was doing the tower, right? We fought a boss, and then I bugged out of there. 
I actually have um, Devil May Cry as a planned thing, BB guy. So we're absolutely going to be doing Devil May Cry. Uh, Fallout, I'm not so much into, really. I don't know. I've, I've never really, I've never really tried it, and never really was attracted to it. I, uh, you know, oh, this button. More of a, more of an Elder Scrolls guy, you know. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're definitely doing Devil May Cry. Planning on doing a good majority of the, se the, se the series, actually. All right, so I believe, yeah, we get in here. And we head over. Isn't it right over here? Oh, there it is. All right, because I, I kicked that boss's ass. But then I was like, wow, it's getting late, right? Shredder's Oh, but yeah, I would, I would definitely love to play Shredder's Revenge. That looks like a dope game. Oh, look at this. Okay. Ook eek. Damn, he powering up. Attack up. Oh, he does it for the whole team? Oh, you monkey fuck. Ook eek eek. Oh, he doing defensa? Bro, what? Ook, eek, eek, eek. And he doing speed up? Oh, dag, really? All right, let's see what we can do. Maybe I should, um... I wonder what might work here. Let's try water. Eh. Ook, eek. Oh, man, they powering up again? You gotta be kidding me. Right, he dead. I'm just gonna attack. Did these guys ever do anything? They just attack? They they just they don't ever attack, they just power up. I don't know, it seems pretty beholden to the nineteen eighty seven aesthetic, you know. He's gonna raise his speed again. Just the fact that it has six characters is pretty dope, though. Got a manju. I need to heal her. She's a little. She got hit a few times. Okay. What am I hearing? Oh boy, it's one of these, huh? Oh no. Chill. Oh, I'm pancaked. What I get? A luck essence. Okay, that's cool. This reminds me of Final Fantasy One, the the volcano. Where's that luck essence at? There it is. Yo, what up? Thank you for the raid. GD, how's it going? Uh, I see a chest there, but... I don't think I can... I, I don't think I can... Oh no, here we go with this shit. Oh damn, I'm down to one health already? What? I barely walked around! You were testing on an AV to HDMI converter you just got? Oh, that's cool. Uh, how do, Let's try and run out of this. I, no, no, I said run. How do I do that? Run. Damn, all right. Well, welcome in. Uh, my name's NecroVMX. I stream every day, a variety of different games. Today I'm playing uh, Far East of Eden Zero. All right, so this, this lava or whatever does a lot more damage than I thought it would, just from walking around. Like, can I get in here? No. 
All right, I don't know. Chest there as well. Yo, coffee! That's two raids in a row. Wow, you take so much damage from walking through that shit. Oh, wow, it's two raids in a row. We, we just getting raided today. Coffee, how, how was it going? What were you doing today? An another one, exactly. I got... I could do this on her. All right. Now we talking. Welcome in. I want that, though. Should I just wait? There we go. Go, 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 go. An almighty pill. Okay. All right. Cures ailments. Okay. You'd like to try Dongo? I feel you. Super chill stream. Nice. I think if I fall here, I might be able to get that other sh that other chest that I saw. Damn. You just take damage in this place. We got Bull Soldier and Robo Teddy. All right, let's go. Hit this, hit this mess right here. Hmm. Coffee red. Yo, what up? Brajoli? Or is it Brajol? It's probably Brajol, right? Ah, you suck, dude. Come on, hit him. Here we go. This, yeah, this game's got a great presentation. Like, the overall aesthetic is great. All pres- Okay, I'm saying it's Brajol. Ah. Uh, is this- Is this stuff also gonna do, like, mad damage? It looks like it's confused me. Gambler's pill, huh? Robo Panda Bear. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really do damage, but uh, I've taken confusion. Alright. Well, let me get out of here before I try to mitigate that. Alright, I probably have something. Well, I mean, I could use the Almighty Pill, but let's see what I have. That's for poison. Uh. See, I don't really have a whole lot of stuff. Hmm. That's interesting. Alright, well. There we go. I only have the one. <laughs> Gambler's Pill sounds evil. Oh yeah, I didn't even look at what it does. What does it do? Fully restores or or halves health. Okay, yeah, I've seen those before. So either you get it's a it's a flip of a coin. You either get all your health back or you lose half of it, which sucks. No. All right, we're gonna get that chest. You might use it if you had like really low health and having it wasn't gonna be that much damage. Headless horse, that's funny. And a bull soldier, all right. Ba, 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 ba. I mean, that's the kind of item that if you're really, really low, like if, if I had 10 health, right? It's either gonna heal me to full or it's gonna reduce me to five. So it wouldn't be that big of a deal, right? All right, Highgan's level 22. I guess her status will just stay until she levels up. All right, a starlight. God, I don't remember what that does either. I think that's uh, just a generic healing item, isn't it? Yes, it, oh, it's for technique, okay. All right, let's go down here. Shit. Oh God, what does this blue stuff do to me? Oh, it poisons you? All right. Wizard's Brew. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that would totally be in a dungeon crawler, right? So it's just poison, man. It's not that big of a deal. Wizard's Brew heals any ailment sometimes. Here, well, she has two ailments, so it didn't. Oh, my God. It reduced her technique to nothing. Oh, damn it. All right, hold on. Let me use a starlight or two. That's a shitty item, right? Damn. Why'd I even bother doing that when I was gonna have to walk through the shit anyway? What's this guy? Ratty bear. Yo, these enemies are mad crazy. Ook, eek, eek, eek. Wow, he raising speed. Dang. Kind of crazy shit we- Oh! Damn. Damn. 
I just realized, don't I have like a float spell? Oh no. God, I got confused on him. Ah, yikes. I think I have a float spell. These enemies are NFTs. Oh no, all my apes gone. I just realized I had a float spell this whole time, don't I? Let's see. Didn't I get that? Yeah. Avoids poison swamps, etc. Yeah. I mean, I don't seem to have the ability to actually use it. I don't know why. Maybe because maybe because status he has. I think I'd like to get out of here and try to heal up. Like maybe I should leave. Go back to the town. Because I have uh, taken some damage and everything's all fucked up here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I'd like to just run away. I don't know if you could like faint from poison in this or not. This game's mad colorful though, huh? Here we are. Red rain is falling down. Flappy Noodle! Yeah, what's up? I don't even know if staying in an inn uh, replenishes your status or not. But I'm willing to see if it does. I should probably pick up some status healing stuff while I'm in town. I thought I had it, and now it doesn't. Alright. All right, I'm gonna have to find a, ta a shop and, uh, well, this is a shop. What do you got? This is for poison. Let me get a bunch of those. That's for haze. I don't know what that haze does, but we'll get some of those. I mean, I got the money, right? Confusion, I definitely need some of these. All right, I think that's good for now. She's confused. They're both poisoned. You take so much damage from poison in this. Holy crap. Right. And what's the confused thing called? Well, I wouldn't... Wait, so is that not confusion? The question mark? What is the question mark if not confusion? Because I can't use it. Forgetfulness. Let's try that. I'll just buy one. What's the difference between forgetfulness and... Confusion. Come on. No. Damn it. Man, what the hell? Okay. Looks like it was forgetfulness. What is the difference? You can only use a wooden mallet in battle. I don't know if that's the case, but if it is, that's kind of silly, to be honest with you. You know, maybe confusion is something that only happens in battle then, and then it wears off after a battle. And maybe, um... Hey, Miss Marims, yes, stream is going well so far. And I'm thinking that forgetfulness might actually be something that continues. Yeah, I don't know what forgetfulness does. It, 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 she did seem to be missing a lot more. But I didn't get into too many battles to really know. Hey, Eddie. Uh, where is it? Where's the damn tower? There it is. Red rain is falling down. Red rain... Yeah, well, you won't get ads for like a whole hour now. Instead of taking a, instead of having it set to a lot of ad breaks, I just have like one per hour. So sometimes you get bombarded like that, but gotta make money somehow, right? This dungeon kind of ham though. Chocolate rain, 
Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. Ohio's agriculture is based on grain. I know that's not the words. You ever actually listen to the lyrics, though, of Chocolate Rain? This shit's actually mad deep. Alright. So the enemies in this place are not that hard. It's just these fucking hazards are insane. Alright, so... I think I had seen the place that I needed to go. Alright. I just don't want to fall down. Go, go, go. Chocolate Ah, you missed. I have to go to this guy. Maybe I can stop him from attacking. Maybe not. It's a really, really not a great song, but great lyrics. Right? Even Tezande said, yes, the song was very cheesy. But it had a point. Wow. I think the meme, though, so much for everybody. All right, Super is level 23. You didn't expect that voice to come out of that guy, right? Like, nobody nobody thought, oh, he's gonna, oh, chocolate rain, you know. Alright, definitely can't go there. Go, go, go. Alright, stay here. I should've went. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, go, oh, fuck. Yeah! 68. <laughs> Almost nice. Oh, I see your Ms. Mar Marines. I hope I'm saying it right. Damn, he's still alive? Fuck out of here. Wait, how did Kate Bush become a meme? Tezante did the Skyrim theme. <laughs> Dovahkiin, Dovahkiin. I, I, I could see that, too. Oh god, oh god, alright. I was a little like, ah, what's gonna happen? Hmm. Uh, let's try this. Oh, hey, alright. Sometimes everything's, sometimes things are nice. And I got a tech essence, which is cool. Uh, I think I'll probably want to use that right away. Okay, oh, oh. Alright, we got a Ratty Bear and a Lengfo. Watch out, these guys doing the power ups. <laughs> Speed up, alright. Ape, not harm, ape. All my apes gone. Man, I need to heal high again. My party is an emulator and a car. There we go. <laughs> All right. Good. Spank the monkey. Um. This looks like it'll go there. A night rain katana. Sweet. At least we're not finding Sun Wukong. That could happen in this game. I feel like anything could happen in this game. Is it not a weapon for him? Is it a weapon for her? Is it not a weapon? A Night Rain Katana? It is totally a weapon. Hold up. Oh, it's the first thing on there. Oh, it's not as good though. Yeah. The, the shears are strong. All right, never mind the Night Rain Katana then. Wow! Whoa, shit. I love that you can run into enemies on this thing. Oh, damn, we got... Galarian Scyther here. What the hell is with the Reaper Cat? Jack the Weasel. Bruh. Jack the Weasel. Bruh. That crit, though! Holy shit! Not Okay. Good. 
I just now realized this ape has sunglasses on. We all know what Moogle does. We all know about his proclivities. Let's see. This looks like it'll just bounce me back. Wait, no, no, it won't. I'm good. Oh, hey, look at that. Cool. This feels like a boss. Oh, it's this fucking guy. <laughs> Haven't kicked the bucket yet, yeah? Hi again, buddy old pal, and your shrimpy little friend tagged along too, I see. I'm not a shrimp, I'm Subaru. <laughs> How sassy. I like that in a girl. But playtime's over. I'm the commanding officer of the second squadron in Hell's army. I, the great Akamaru, will show you the true meaning of fear. Alright. Oh, he, he transforming. Ah, uh, he ugly as fuck. He's that guy at the mall that has a snake draped around him. Yeah, it's, it's Paul Lind. <laughs> See, now 16 tons makes perfect sense because he's got that baritone. Black water. Dude, I don't want to drink the poo water. Ooh, all right. All right, let's get this out of the way right away. Physical fire and bolt weakness. All right. Okay. Um, let's, let's see if Noodle hit him. Does. Okay, cool. Damn. Because I have that Thunder Cutter skill, don't I? Yeah. Because that's Thunder and Physical? Oh, it comes out on the next turn. That's right. Chocolate Rain! Kamatachi the slicing win? Okay. What happens if I just hit him with Jolt? Alright, it's not bad. She probably does more damage with it. Eh, not really. Same. About the same. I think it's better to Thunder Cutter and... Supplement it with nude. Nakamaro Serpent. Ow! And we got poisoned because of course we did. Ouch! This guy's kind of relentless. Let me see what a basic attack does. Eh, it's not great. Alright. That is nasty. Alright. We getting there. She has electric catfish though. Maybe I should do that at some point when I don't need to heal. The problem is he's put me in a position where I always need to heal. Oh, he dead. Never mind. Yeah! And Hygen's level 23. And Subaru's level 24.
I should have known better. You're the hero of fire, of course. But even if you are the hero of fire, there's one you'll never be. There's no way. No way! No way in hell. You ain't never gonna beat them. Death to the heroes of fire. Death. 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 Death awaits you all. <laughs> Lord Nagini. You suck, sir. Oh, leveling up doesn't cure status, huh? All right. Uh, let's. X Men, welcome to die. Akumaru is dead. Sweet. He was a bit of a chud, yeah. And place is farting. I should take care of the red rain, right? Sweet. All right. Um. Wait, no, no. Get back on it. I want to go to Peacock Shrine, I think, first, but I don't remember exactly where it was. Hey, well, let me leave this over here just so it's here. I mean, you can't get down here. And I'll just warp there. There, that's the one. Sweet. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's up? Young man of the fire clan, hero of fire, you have saved us from Akumaru the Hellborn. I am the peacock, the divine peacock. I protect the people of the peacock nation as their divine beast, warding off their illnesses. First, allow me to give you my gratitude. And take my stone, the peacock stone, for my power sleeps within it. Peacock stone. Peacock. Hygen's party obtained the Peacock Stone. That's two of them. <laughs> Truly, this is your reward for saving this nation when I could do nothing to protect it. If you equip the Peacock Stone, your skills will consume less technique. Please put it to good use. Now listen, young man of the Fire Clan. The one you must defeat is Ninigi, ruler of Hell. Ninigi has broken through the seal that lasted 600 years and has been reborn. Ninigi, the ruler of Hell, now plans to, to take rule over Japan once more. Ninigi plays plans to raise Hell here on Earth once his rule is firmly established. You said P. Yeah, <laughs> cock too. <laughs> yeah. Young man of the Fire Clan, hero of fire, you must stop Ninigi. Seal the ruler of hell back where he belongs. In hell. In hell. Go to hell. Sweet. As for the stone, I'm thinking... I want to give it to her. I mean, 
that's definitely what they're going for, right? They're definitely going for him being the ultimate Chad. Alright, I think where we needed to go is somewhere over in here. Got a Robo Teddy. This looks right. Entrance Village! What's up? Yay! Yeah, the red rain went away! The red swamps disappeared too! Now everybody can come back to Peacock Nation again! It's all thanks to someone called the Hero of Fire! That's me, baby, me! Which nation did you come into this village from? Uh, Peacock. Then I suppose that means this would be the Entrance Village. Welcome to the Crane Nation's Entrance Village. It lies on the border between the Peacock Nation and the Crane Nation. Up ahead you'll find the Crane Nation. Do Robo Teddy's have to enter sleep mode for the winter? I would imagine the... <laughs> Low power mode, at least, right? These stone pillars are the work of Gen, a very famous sculptor of the Cray Nation. Aren't they just beautiful? Such perfect carvings, such precise, powerful chiseling. But Gen was a dude from Street Fighter, but alright. Wait, I can't go in these buildings? Alright. Alright. The tea house. You know, here in the Crane Nation, you can find Tenjin. Those brilliant eyes, they give me goosebumps. There's no other girl like her, is there? I'm gonna walk away from you now. You know, here on the Crane Nation, you're saying the same thing. Same exact thing. Wait, you're saying Tenjin's... Wait, hold on, let me read this again. So this one's saying there's no other girl like her, Tenjin. And this one's saying there's no other guy like him. Tension's an envy, oh no. <laughs> Did you hear? Uh, let's say I haven't. Seems that Sara, the one who attacked the Crane Nation, has put up wanted posters of the Hero of Fire. Turns out he's some kid with half his hair dyed red. That, that's me, but alright. Welcome, need any refreshments? What you got? Kusudangu, manju, chestnut manju, alright. Let's see if there's anything hidden. I, you can't take the airship out of this place, and I'm going to a different place, so I really don't need it now. The house of the stone there belongs to Gen, the sculptor. Gen's actually a carpenter, but he uh, tried doing sculpting as a hobby, and he hit it off big with people. Chestnut! He's much more popular as a sculptor than he ever was as a carpenter these days. He may insist that he's a carpenter, but to the rest of the world, he's destined to be known as a sculptor. What up, dude? Ugh, why? Why did you come here? I'm Gen the Carpenter. I'm not Gen the Sculptor, okay? I'm a carpenter. Don't you forget it. Sure, dude. Whatever. I don't care. Alright. We got a weapon shop. All of this stuff has been in storage for some time, but it's still usable. Well, would you like to buy something? First, I'd like to sell some stuff, actually. I got this... Katana I don't need. And... Like, oh, I want to keep that. But I'll, the Disaster Hood, I don't see why I'd need that. Snowshoes? I'm going to hang on to that. Alright, what you got? Anything good? Willful Armor is good. That's about it. And an Iron Helmet? Maybe I'll use the Iron Helmet. We'll see. Thank you kindly. It's old, but it should be sturdy enough. <laughs> but enough about your schlong. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you love my Peter Gabriel references? Thank you. I'm actually a big, 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 big fan of his. What up, Chiro Nomi? But, yeah, so much of this, like, part of the game is about red rain falling on the, uh on the um, the towns in this world. And I'm just like, red rain is falling down. What are we gonna use, a sledgehammer? Did you, I don't know if, uh, the message that I posted on the, the Discord was pretty great. Let's see, I'll tell you what I wrote. I wrote, um, 
How will we stop the red rain? Maybe with a sledgehammer or some steam. Either way, I'm hitting the big time over at my URL with some Far East of Eden Zero. Biko. <laughs> I gotta throw Biko in at the end there, right? The whole game is a Peter Gabriel reference. This does seem like some weird shit he would come up, right? Yeah, I'm gonna make my way to Salisbury Hill, right? My friends would think I was a nut. The Peppy Hermit lives in Treasure Village, which is one of the nation's hidden villages. Isn't that incredible? They say the Peppy Hermit spell is especially refreshing. Dude, you're freaking me out. Treasure Village, Seaweed Village, and Splendid Village are three hidden villages found in the plains, sea, and the mountains. Um, I think I got them out of a treasure chest. I don't remember exactly. Deal with the intruder. That's a good one. Deal with the intruder. Don't give up. You know, we're growing up looking for a place to live. Well, search carefully and you'll find them. Don't panic. Just take your time and look around. That's a good one. Oh, we got something. Four dollars. You know, we're just looking for items, digging in the dirt. Okay, what else we got here? You know what I haven't seen in this whole fucking village is an inn. You're the hero of fire, aren't you? You must be Hygen, the hero of fire. Thank you for saving this village from the red rain. Up ahead, there are more people who need your help. Keep fighting to bring peace back to Japan. Four dollars! Ba 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 ba. Hey, you know, now with um, the fact that Steam has a uh, a retro arc release, you can play high again on Steam. Give him Steam. Just make sure he doesn't shock the monkey. Oh my god, I should have said that when I was fighting the monkeys earlier. I was fighting those monkey dudes, I should have said shock the monkey. Which is totally about jerking off. Oh, there's a net. From this village to the northern exit is called the Border Valley. If you make your way through e Exit Village, you'll find the actual Crane Nation. I heard a rumor the Crane Nation was covered up by a d desert now. Is everything going to be okay? Yeah, eventually. What is an Ein Odin Pro? I've heard that you can have a nice dream if you sleep at this inn, but I always have nightmares. Must be because the statue of the Crane Nation, the state, statue? The state the Crane Nation is in now. Sorry guys, I am medicated. This may be a washed up inn, but you can sleep well here and have the greatest dreams. One night's a hundred yo. That's okay, we'll do that. We'll see the dream. Why not? A challenge from Sara. Oh, nice. Does it have like like buttons and stuff? I actually have a um an Android handheld, but it's all fucked up right now. Something wrong with it. I'm not sure what. Mm -hmm. ah. She's having a flying dream. I actually dislike flying dreams. Mm -hmm. Well, that happened. I actually uh, really like the Vita, personally. Good morning, did you have a nice dream? Well, on your way now. I don't know if it was nice or not. It was It was certainly something. I don't know. Do I have acro- Yeah, I kinda do. I don't, I don't like being high up. So when I have one of those flying dreams, it freaks me out. Four dollars. Sony of America surely didn't like the video. You're right, though. You're right. In between this entrance village and the exit village, there are three hidden villages throughout the border valley. Their names are Treasure Village, Seaweed Village, and Splendid Village. They all have shops with some very strange items. Is there anything else to do? Looks like really not. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Gee, I wonder I wonder if this is one of the hidden villages. It's not. Oh well. Oh maybe, maybe, right? What do we got here? We got wormy ballerinas. Ew. 
They look like those creepers from Final Fantasy 1. Alright, the enemies here do not be hitting hard. Well, they could take some hits, though. I'm gonna find out what hurts these guys. Water? Okay. It's fine. It is what it is, right? Yeah, I might be better just attack with him at least. Ooh, the crit though. Damn. She doesn't do a lot of damage. When she crits, it's like, holy shit. Something over there. All right, more wormy ballerina. Wormy ballerinas. What the fuck? They'd be missing though. What if I was to do a fusion? Water, water. Let's try it. Get washed. Ah, see, we found Treasure Village. <laughs> what the hell? Welcome, this is Treasure Village. It's a secret place. <laughs> Japan's secret treasures have been gathered in the treasure gallery. Okay. Uh, isn't there a hermit here? I'm a shameless man. I find no shame even in shame. You know what they call a man like me? A chud? They call me brazen. Do you know what brazen means? It means you have no shame. Okay, um, yeah, I would like to watch that later, but that's going to be well scrolled up. Can, uh, Wayne or Alice or somebody, can you post a Discord invite for all the new people? And it would be helpful if you were if you were to post that video on my Discord so I can actually look at it later. It'd be interesting to see. Uh, it's, this is the brazen guy, right? Yeah. Whoa, what happened? What was that about, Wayne? Did he say something that I... Didn't see? That you're saying eat shit and live? Well, he was telling me about that handheld thing. I don't know if that was necessarily spam. I mean, the guy was talking about it. Unless that video was something else. Like, was that not what he said it was? I don't really need the end, but whatever. Yeah, I think that might have been a little... Like, unless you click the link and it went to, it was like, yeah, I don't know, like a Rickroll or something. Thank you, Alice. Hey, you there. Did you get into the treasure gallery? Uh, not yet, no. Don't bother. There's nothing special in there. Did you hear me? Don't even think of going in. Now, what if I say yes? Let's see what he says. Hmm, so you fell for it too. All nations must have their own treasure galleries like this. I'm guessing it's bullshit, huh? I don't think I'm going to get to see that video now, right? Yeah. No, you don't get gun shy. You get gun horny. You get gun horny. What the hell is this? Stand Firm Little Bud by Gen. Oh, it's a little bud plant. Okay. But yeah, if you could post that link on the Discord, I'm kind of curious to see it. I'm sure it's something I can't afford, but... Four dollars. I actually bought an Android handheld years ago, and it was pretty great. I was using it for mostly to play emulators and such. And then it just kind of crapped out on me one day, and I never knew quite how to fix it. The treasure gallery of Treasure Village was built by Gen, the sculptor from Entrance Village. Peppy, 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 peppy. Hey, have you met the peppy hermit? He's in this village. You got a baby in there. Uh... <laughs> You got a baby in there. Alright, so to get down there. I haven't seen the peppy guy yet. I see a weapon shop. The water that springs up here is delicious. 
There's the crane na there's the crane fountain in Ripple Grotto and the fountain here in Treasure Village. Please have a drink. Peppy, 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 peppy. I'm quite the peppy. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, are you buying? Uh, yeah. Princess Squid. We will get that for sure. Shitty helmet? Well, I mean, if it's a shitty helmet. And shady mask. Oh yeah, that's that's expensive, but damn. I mean, if it's if it's really good though, you know. Yo, the whip though. I'm gonna get this. It, it's just a shitty helmet, like. Yeah, you said four months. You had to wait, huh? It's like I got a helmet, but it's kind of shitty. I'll take it. <laughs> like, what? What the fuck? Darn that old man, he's spouting a bunch of nonsense. Don't believe a word of what he says. He's just calling some junk he picked up secret treasures and putting them on display. Anyway, you should leave the village already. There's nothing good to be found here. I'm Mankichi, the legendary treasure hunter you probably heard rumors about. I've collected Japan's secret treasures and put them on display in the treasure gallery. It's quite a collection of rare articles. There are even some articles related to the Fire Clan in there now. Well, so far two people have told me that your museum ain't shit. Oh, you think they got shitty walk? Alright. A cool pill? Yo, I got that cool pill though. I actually still do not really know what the coolness stat actually does. It just says cool pill, let's see. Well, I used it. Did it raise my coolness? Only one way to find out. Rockin' the coolness. I guess it has and hurt yeah, cause she's at cool enough. Alright, it, it looks like it did low it did go up. Wait, can I actually take a drink like she said? Oh, now you're gonna get in my way? There's some pure clean water here. Will you drink it? Who wouldn't? Huygens party drank the pure water. It was delicious. Their thirst was quenched. I don't know where I had the thirst. <laughs> oh bye. This is the big attraction of Treasure Village. The treasure gallery is right this way. At the moment, the night gallery is also open. Would you like to pay 200 Rio to enter? Sure. I've heard it's a ripoff, but I'll check it out. Okay, go right ahead. Conjoined Circle by Gen. That's not so great. Japan's elusive Herald of the Eternal Flame, captured and brought here by Mankichi, the treasure, the treasure hunter. The beloved staff of Zetai Raider, the commanding officer of the first squadron in Hell's army. He used this icy staff to perform a special move. The staff was entrusted to us by Officer Zete Raido himself. It's how NPCs interact with you? Okay. Well, I didn't have my hopes up or anything, but that's how it is. The shell of the egg from which Subaru the Fairy of the Fire Clan was hatched. It was discovered at Yumadomo, the Palace of Dreams, in the Ice Mountain Village by Mankichi, the great treasure hunter himself. Some of this is definitely not true. The Hat of Akumaru, the commanding officer of the 2nd Squadron in Hell's army. Mankichi, the great treasure hunter, risked his life to snatch his hat from the crumbling tower of bloodshed. That was like five minutes ago, but alright. This is the Fire Bear sword that the Hero of Fire used in the battle with Zetai Raido. The Hero of Fire, a close friend of Mankichi, the great treasure hunter, kindly lent his sword to be displayed in this exhibit. I did no such thing! This is the Fang that was at the entrance of the Ice Fang Castle, which is under the control of Zetai Raido. After the Hero of Fire destroyed it, Menkichi, the great treasure hunter, brought it back and reconstructed it here. The exhibit in the back is only open between 8 p.m. and 4 a.m. for ages 18 and up. Well, it's it's 8.42. I should be able to... Unless the clock's fucked up. Yeah, he's letting me in. 2,000? Nah, I ain't paying that shit. Get, get the fuck out of here. Here, let me show you what I have. Give me a second to go get it. The problem is, is that I, I stopped using it for a while, and then when I tried to charge it up, like it, like, I don't know, like it doesn't seem to ever get in, like it charges, but it doesn't seem to ever get into the, um, the actual, um, operating system. I think I have to flash the ROMers, but I have no idea how to fix it. Let me go grab it. Dude, you need to chill. I think it's over here. I, 
I bought this thing years ago. It wasn't really that pricey, and it was fun to play, you know, like, basically whatever emulation I wanted to on it. But this is from JXD. It's the S7800, which, you see the... Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, did the webcam freeze? Hold on, I can fix that. Ah, damn it. One second. Yeah, I can tell because the light's not on. That occasionally happens. Hello. All right, I have the thing. So this is it. This is the box. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I can't quite get it up and running anymore. But this is the actual thing. It, it's kind of cool, though, right? Like, it probably doesn't have a charge now because it's been sitting in this box since the last time I tried to get it running. Yeah, it's not gonna, it's not coming on. I mean, it has HDMI, I mean, it, 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 it's pretty cool, but I don't know, I just, I couldn't get it to, I, I got a lot of use out of it, and then I just didn't use it for a bit, and it was, you know, like, not charged at all, right? So I left it on the thing for a long time, the charger, and it eventually charged up, but then it, it, it just wouldn't get to the, uh, the actual Android screen, so I, I don't know exactly how to fix it. Like, I read some stuff online that says you gotta flash the ROM, and I have no idea how to do that. No idea. Does it take micro SD card? I think it does, let me see. I'm pretty sure it does. Let me see. Bring it out again. Let's see. That's HDMI. That's the USB, that's headphones. That's the power. Yeah, this is a slot for micro SD right there. I don't have a, I don't think I have a card in there. There's nothing in there though. I never put a micro SD in. It was only the, uh, the local memory I was using to store like ROMs and stuff, emulators and ROMs. That's all I really used it for. Maybe some Android games here and there, you know. But all right, well, I just want to show you since we were talking about Android hell handhelds, might as well, right? All right, back to this. Wait, so where is the, the hermit? Oh, maybe he's in here. Can I remove the battery? I don't think so. I don't think that there's a spot to remove. Let me check again. I don't think I can. They were talking about flashing the ROM to... to... Yeah, no, it doesn't. There's no place to open, open it up. There is a little pinhole here that might be... Yeah, it's a factory reset thing. Might try that at some point, but I gotta charge it up. I haven't... I tried to use it you know, like three years ago or so, and that's when it was like fucking up on me. And then uh, I just kind of gave up. It, the pinhole would probably do it. Peppy, 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 peppy. Oh, you came! You came! The Fire Clan, the hero of fire. I am the Peppy Hermit. I'm full of pep! And get up and go. And I have got a scroll for you. Huygens party obtained the Zest scroll. Wayne is in love with the nut button. I swear, this is like the greatest thing. The nut button. Listen, if you cast Zest, you'll regain your pep and your health will be healed. Now go, Huygen. Hero of fire. Bring peace back to Japan. So is it just an upgraded vigor spell? Let me see. Yes, it's upgraded bigger spell. It's your theme song. Pepe, Pepe, you came not, you came not, you came not. All right. It said there was another one in the mountains. Oh, we got new enemies. We got Peppin and Pillbugger. Right. 69 to plant, man! Oh, 
Ba 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 I'd love to play with the thing again, but, you know, whatever. Does Peppy do battle rooms? He might! Oh, there's definitely something there. Splendid village! Mmm! Bright splendid! Mm. Oh, well, this is a rare sight. Not many people come here. This is Splendid Village. One of the hidden villages of this nation. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is similar. How did it get the name, you ask? Because of the clean air around here. Somebody's like, oh, that's Splendid. We we'll call it Splendid Village. Giant fucking mushroom. That shit's haunted. Take a look at this. Quite a mushroom, huh? This could give Japan's biggest mushroom a run for its money. You telling me that's not the biggest one? Yeah, that had to do with the whole Michael Jackson connection. Oh, I got a fool pill. What does a fool pill do? That doesn't seem like it would be good. Like, you eat it and then you're an idiot? Fool pill. I don't know what a fool pill is. I want to try it, but I also... I'm going to save before I try it, right? I'm just not- I'm not just swallowing something called a fool pill. Like, swallow this fool! It actually seemed to lower his health a little bit. Alright, never mind that, All right? Fool pill. Oh no, it didn't! What does it do? Try it again. It looked like it did do something. No, it didn't do anything. A pity the fool that pops a fool pill. Alright, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna load that. Like, the description just says Fool Pill. Well... I, I actually did a whole thing on that a long time ago. Michael Jackson definitely wrote a lot of music for Sonic 3. Not a lot of it was used, but there are definitely a few of his songs in there. But he was pretty upset with how the Genesis sound chip made his songs sound, so... Yeah, <laughs> this is a mushroom. I ate it. Ah, something's wrong with me. <laughs> this kid's wigging out. I'm collecting mushroom nuts in the forest of mushrooms. What? You don't know mushrooms produce nuts? Just kidding. I'm actually collecting shiitake spores. I grow mushrooms from them. I hate mushrooms so much. It's disgusting. What are you doing, Gibbs? Anybody else to talk to outside before I start checking out these buildings? All right, here we go. Hey, sir. Ever since I came to Splendid Village, I've had nothing but mushrooms in my miso soup. I prefer seaweed. I tell you, any real man would rather put his lips around some seaweed than a mushroom. I don't agree with the uh, gatekeeping, but I do agree with the sentiment that mushrooms are whack. Four dollars! What a shit take joke. Ah, uh, shiitake. Please, eat some shit. Did he say eat some- No, he said eat some shiitake mushrooms. You shouldn't pay too much attention to what people in this village say. Everybody's been eating these funky mushrooms and it makes us all a little... odd? Take me, for instance. Oh, he hopping. Yeah, I think I'm done talking to you, sir. Dude just hops straight over me, like, damn. Kids these days can't tell the difference between a shiitake and a matsutake. They think they're all just mushrooms. They grill matsutake with butter and steam boil shiitake. What fools they are. I don't know, I think if you eat mushroom, you're a fool anyway. You eating them fool pills, I found. I've been raising shiitake here. The shiitake in Splendid Village are especially tasty. They're best if you steam boil them. Outrageous, I know, right? Oh, what do I... Oh, nothing. I must have already gotten whatever was there. The mushrooms in this village are poisonous, but delicious. Every so often, though, I just get really numb and I can't move at all. Well, stop eating poison, you numbskull. You boob. What a boob. Oh, 
A while ago, an old lady named Domine came here and bought a bunch of snowshoes. And she headed through again, saying that she was going to the Crane Shrine this time. Well, I already have snowshoes. I gotta worry about that. Glad I hung on to them. We don't have much of a selection, but would you like to take a look? Mushroom armor? Really? <laughs> Sting effect? See-through clothes? Oh, so I see. So this lowers your... Okay, so it gives you the sting effect, whatever it is, but this this is not that good. But it boosts your dodge rate. Snowshoe... Walk... Wow. Too real. Shitty shoes, in case you want some really shitty shoes. And bootleg boots, which causes confusion. What the fuck? Hey, Hitomi, what's going on? I don't know about... I don't know about the shitty shoes and all that. Why is it called shitty shoes? What the fuck? Oh, more new enemies. Oh, don't do that. Now nah, you failed. I stepped in something nasty. Fireball flies in Hell's Dancer. Right. Got him. Sweet. Can they say there's a, something near a mountain? Monstar. Ah! We're fighting the Carl's Jr. logo. There's a lot of them. Let me see if I can find out what hits them hard. Extreme Link just a bolt. All right. Monstar. Ah. They're not exactly hitting me very hard, though. Carl, that kills people! Oh, hey, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Ow. Quit it. Ow. Got him! And Huygens, level 24. Maybe this? Ah, this is something. Okay. Seaweed Village. Nice. Okay. I'm impressed that you managed to make it here. This is one of the three hidden villages. We call it Seaweed Village. Well, we found all three now, huh? Drying up some seaweed. That's all we need. First spread it out till it's flat. The sun dries it up and that's that. The thing about seaweed is that you have to dry it up properly, or you won't be able to make good soup stock out of it. Fair enough. I've had... I've had miso, I know what... Oh, I don't mean to go in there yet. There's an old man and his cow looking out at the ocean. The sea. It sure is nice. It's so quiet and calm. So deep and gentle. I can almost forget that Hell's army is invading Japan while I sit here. Moo! Not sure what I expected. There's one good thing about seaweed. Here in the valley, we could pick it straight from the ocean. You wouldn't believe what we picked up two years ago. It was a leaf of seaweed as big as a tatami mat. It was so rare, it was on display at the treasure gallery in the treasure village. Have you seen it already? I did not see it. It must have been in the night gallery. Starring Rod Serling. Okay, um, let's check out these buildings. My husband is always talking about how he only wants to eat seaweed in his miso soup. I'd like to try sticking in a mushroom once in a while, though, when he isn't looking. Don't do that. It sounds like a rude thing to do. The seaweed in this village makes for some great soup stock. It's especially good in miso soup, but I like to eat it raw, even if it is a little salty. Yeah, she rude as hell, right? She's like, I'm gonna give him mushrooms. 
even though you don't like that shit. Ah! It reeks! It's the smell of that shitty mask! I can't stand it! Yep, that's certainly going to break through an illusion, just like the rumors say. The other shitty items are in the other- Oh, wait! So, do I need all the shitty items to get something special? Alright, I think I'll buy them all then. I won't use them, necessarily, but I'll get them. The world is full of odd things. Buy something! Alright, so gambler's pill, cool pill, shitty mask. I'll buy one just to have it. Back scratcher. Alright. Hold on. Let's see about this fool pill. Will you buy it for me? Oh, it's only one Rio? Fuck off. Nothing lasts forever, even cold November rain. There's no point running away, running away with anything. Thank you very much. So I should buy all those shitty items. It sounds like it would lead to something. Drying up. Uh, I already talked to you. What am I talking to you for? Young people these days have it all wrong. You can't make broth out of seaweed. You definitely can. If you want to make broth, you have to use kelp, obviously. Kelp is seaweed, you dingbat. Oh, another fool pill, huh? Kelp is seaweed. It is a type of seaweed, you doofus. There's a cat. Fantastic. Shitty shoes, a shitty helmet, and a shitty mask. Some people started to call these items the shit. Bruh. They call it the shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Which caused others to believe that they were actually lucky items. <laughs> this translation. More recently, there have been rumors these items let you break through an illusion. I highly doubt that's the case, though. Yeah, well, I'm gonna buy them just, just in case. I gotta go back to the other two hidden villages, but... Are you kidding me? They used to call them the shit. I would really love to know what that said in Japanese. Oh, my God. Holy fuck. Alright, let me get the other two shit shitty ones. <laughs> Can you imagine what Ted Woolsey would have done with that? Oh, God. It would have been very interesting, to say the least. I right, get a shitty helmet. Shit. It'd be like Spoonie Mask and Spoonie Helmet, right? That's what it would be. Oh, I don't need to be in here. What am I doing? I'm leaving. You spoony bod. Of course, he didn't actually do the spoony bard line because he didn't work on Final Fantasy IV. It wasn't so much that he was creative. Oh, there's a new enemy. Creative. But he was extremely talented. It's T. Levanevsky. Because he's a conductor, Lefanesky. That's funny. Woolsey was very good at translating. It's just that he had to keep within ROM size. The Prince of Yamato Symphony. Oh, he's summoning? What do you summon? Pri oh, Prince of Yamato. Uh, let me, let me, let me uh, maybe do like Jolt or something big here. All right, we at least got rid of the summoner. I never seen no Prince of Yamato that looks like that. Like, say, like one of the first things he ever really, like, big projects he worked on was Final Fantasy VI. And basically, he submitted his translation to Square, and they were like, wow, this is really good. This is awesome. Uh, you're 300% over ROM size. So he had to pare it down to a third of what he had it at. You know, which... You know, he said it was it was hard to do, you know, it was killing him to do that, but... A lot of the things that you think of as just butchery and ignorance really came from space constraints, because English text takes up a lot more memory than uh, Japanese text does. 
Certainly some interesting enemies in this area. Alright. Oh, it's this one. So that's the three hidden villages. I guess we just look for exit village then. Which should just be straight up. Yeah, but the thing is, Spoonie Bard was Final Fantasy IV, which he did not work on. So, you yeah, know. Here it is, shitty shoes. I love the description is just shitty shoes. Alright, I have all the shitty equipment. <laughs> it's the shit. And he's the Prince of Yamado again. Let me see what, what hits these guys hard. Fire, water, wind, and bolt. So basically everything. Alright. Yeah, there were a few parts that were sort of boulderized, but you could tell what they were going for. Yeah, you need to stop attacking her. Uh, let me do something big here, because I'm going to do water, water here. Zest yourself. Damn, these guys hit kind of hard, huh? There we go. Got him. All right. Oh, there it is. Sand amoeba? Alright. Oh, they be splitting. Nope. Oh, I'd be missing. You know, this might be a good opportunity to use Blazing Cutter. Nah. It ain't that good. Yeah, these guys got crazy defense. They must have a weakness. I'm looking forward to playing the the the, the pixel remaster version. Because the last version of Final Fantasy VI that I played all the way through was the um, Game Boy Advance, which I thought was really, really good. But I really want to try out the uh, pixel remaster. Well, at least that doesn't split them. Um, I'm going to see about electric catfish here. Nice. All right. There we go. Hella towns in this place, huh? Wow, sand. There's sand here. The sand came all the way here. The desert really is spreading. At this rate, the whole crane nation will be buried in the sand. You seem to have an obsession with sand. Oh, you there. Which side did you come into the village from? Uh, we came in from the west. Well, then you think of this village as the exit village. It's the exit from Border Valley. If you head east, you'll find the crane nation. Sweet. Are you the hero of fire? Your name's Hygen, right? How did I know that? Well, I saw a sign that said, Fugitive Criminal Wanted Hygen the Hero of Fire. Yeah, well... Everybody wants me. I'm just that dope. Alright, it looks like there's... Not much to this place. Howdy-do! We got some good stuff in for you. Interested in taking a look? Let's see... Stormblade, that's something new. Let's get that. Wind helmet, bolt helmet. Hmm. A lot of very specific um, things, but I've been using different sort of. I don't know. I, I've, been, I've been using different sort of accessories. Hey, Hero Fire, are you searching for shitty goods? Uh, I already have them, but let's say I am. Too bad, because we don't have any here. I heard they're selling them in the Border Valley's three hidden villages. Why don't I try looking around for those shitty goods yourself? 
This joke's never gonna get old. What if I say no? Ah, is that so? Then I guess you haven't read that poster yet. Not the shitty poster? What, what is even going on? Hey, listen up. There's a whole bunch of weirdos around here. There are the beautiful hermits, of course. Then there's freaky Sarah. Tension's pretty dangerous, too, but he's good-looking so he can get away with it. Tension, who fought in the war against Hell's Army 600 years ago, is here in the Crane Nation. If you leave this town and head straight north, you'll reach the beautiful grotto where he lives now with the beautiful hermits. Okay. All right. Four dollars! So we have a line on one hermit, at least, right? Interested in some of Granny's medicine? Alright, um... I think I want to get some, uh, some, some more Typha oil. We've got plenty of great deals here. Well, are you buying? Good for now. Did you know about this hero fire? The crane shrine to the north has a great weapon shop there. You better hurry before it gets buried under the sand. Hurry over to the crane shrine. There's a lot of things happening in the north. Four dollars. Dude, I just took your money. I just took your money, honey. Ooh, I took your fucking money. Check out the end. Hey, hey, you there. You hear? Did you hear the news? The divine crane in the crane shrine got sealed away by someone named Sara. Yeah, it do be like that. Welcome! This costs money. I have money. Shut up and take my money. This dude's problem. Okay. Music stuff. So, you're Hygen? Hmm. I heard you defeated Satai Reidu and Akamaru the Hellborn. I find it hard to believe that a boy like you could defeat Reidu. Satai Reidu defeated my old friend Byakuen. There's no way that you could have defeated him. If you want to prove me wrong, then go and defeat Sara, the ruler of the Phantom Castle. I was going to do that anyway, but alright. Cool. I'm working on it. Relax. Chill. Well, this music's just gonna keep going, huh? I heard a rumor the Phantom Castle vanishes before your eyes in the desert. How terrifying. How very terrifying. Oh, ancestors, watch over us. I got a tie for oil. You gotta love when you talk to an NPC and a much better song starts playing. Welcome, I'm gonna help you? Maybe. No, you can't. Thank you very much. Tenjin, the hero of fire, uh, I'm the hero of fire, headed off to defeat Sara, a member of Hell's army. I'm sure Tenjin will be able to defeat Sara in her phantom castle. Probably not. I'm probably gonna have to do it. Can I get over there to that guy? I don't see how I can't. Wait, maybe like this? Yeah, there we go. The Crane Nation is in big trouble. Sara, in her phantom castle, has sealed away the Divine Crane. She's turning the Crane Nation into a desert. The Crane Shrine to the north and Liquor Village to the southeast. Okay. Have both been buried by sand. That doesn't sound good. Darn it. Sand's even been getting into the kitchen now. It's all gritty in here. Gross. Grody. Nasty. You nasty. Alright, so we'll head north. Whoa, oh, something's happening. Cutscene. What the f This fucking guy? Out of the way! Kimaru, pick up the pace, yeah? Roger that, my good buddy Aomaru. Our old pal Akumaru is going to be right as rain once we get him breathing again. That doesn't sound good. Oh, you can actually see it right from here. The beautiful grotto. 
My name is Karen. Okay, Karen. I live here in the beautiful grotto. I am the sister of the other beautiful hermit. You must be the hero of fire. It appears you're a bit too late. Another member of your fire clan named Tenjin already headed to the Phantom Castle with my brother, Binan. Binan, probably. You must hurry there, too. The Phantom Castle is hard to discern in the heat waves. Be careful not to be deceived. Okay, but aren't you supposed to give me something? Oh, wait! Let me give you this scroll. It is the LA scroll. Huygens Party obtained the LA scroll. Okay. LA is a skill that lets you cure physical ailments that a person has, like numbness, stone, or confusion. It can cure all of those, but it can't cure poison, since poison is not part of the body itself. Yeah. Oh, really? That was a jab at fit? I didn't know what that was about, because I've never heard of Kefka with a C before that. I hope you'll find it helpful during your battles against Hell's army. Now hurry, heroes of fire. Was it some, like, making fun of people like, you know, in Japanese, in the original in Japanese, it's spelled with a C, so... Mm. Alright, so there's another town to the north, right? Oh, this desert slows you down. Yeah. Zippy long legs and man-eating larva. Damn. Actually, well, you know, in Japanese, it's Kefka went to see it, it's Sefka. <laughs> you know, they, they changed it to K so people didn't call him Kefka. Sefka. That's all it is, really. Ooh, we got to confuse. Zippy long legs. Sefsa! <laughs> oh dear! Actually, no. Oh. Yeah, they didn't want people calling him Sefsa, they had to change it to K's. And he's like, It's Kafka, you fools! It's Kafka! Oh, you thought. It might have been a reference to Kafka, for all we know. Hey, tell me, might. Hey, 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 tell me, do you know anything about that? If you're still here? Alright, another new enemy. Dark Avatar, huh? I wonder what, uh... Let's see. There's just two of them. Extreme weakness to Bolt. Hmm, alright. Well, definitely not the guy in the middle. You ain't got no extreme weakness to Bolt, that's for damn sure. Yeah, the combat system's fun. Let's see. Let's see what these guys are weak to. Water, okay. Damn, they just pounding her, huh? Yep, fuck them all. See you later, baby guy. Gush. You're dead. Subaru is level 25. So if I come over here, I can travel faster, eh? Alright, enemies we've seen already. Fuck them all, and fucking no regrets. going off that way, but I think this is what we want. Crane Shrine. Alright. This is the Crane Shrine, where the Divine Crane watches over those who are of pure heart. Unfortunately, as you see, the town has been buried in the desert, and the Divine Crane has been sealed away. Oh, what should we do? Ah, my grandpa! My grandpa got buried in the sand! He's down there in the house! Somebody's gotta save him! Well, don't try to open the door or nothing. I'm sure he's fine. The whole place may get may, yeah. the whole place maybe get buried in, by the sand, but I never take any days off throughout the year. This is my inn, the Crane Watcher. 
Oh, I'm offering a special discounted rate now. Come on in, come on in. I should just go like up in here. But there's a, there's an inn literally right over here too. So I don't know. There used to be a great weapon shop here, but it's buried in the sand now. Don't worry, nobody was inside. Rosuku, uh, Rokusuke, who ran the shop, fled to Liquor Village to the southeast. Okay. Another, there's a weapon shop right there. Hello there, welcome. The shop may have been buried in the sand, but that can't stop the news from spreading. We got the scoops before anyone else. Delivering news about what's in the Crane Nation. We have a Crane Courier. It's Tanrio for an article. Care to read one? Very no. I can't accept that. You must understand because this is all very interesting stuff. It's not that interesting, sir. Oh, my house. It got buried in... Oh, my car. It got buried in the sand. How could this be? If you feel sorry for me, then buy something. Oh, uh, this is all very suspicious stuff. That seems good, but it's a bit expensive. Oh, what a nice fellow you are. Thank you. I didn't actually buy anything, but okay. All right, let's start going in these places and see what the deal is. How could I possibly not be disturbed when they've made this room into the entrance? There. I'm sorry, the reception's in the first floor. They can help you there. Watch out for a centipede called the Steelopede. He takes a huge bite out of your wallet. You can get it back if you kill it before it runs. He doesn't like sand, it's coarse, it gets everywhere, you know. Four dollars! Four dollars! Welcome, I got some cheap rates, one not only for 50 Rio. You'd be sad, it's cheap, okay. Yeah, we'll do it. I mean, there's another inn, but whatever, 50 Rio is a decent price. Couldn't have slept better if you were six feet under, huh? I mean, I think we are, but all right. So I don't think you can go out this way. The entrance is covered up by the sand. There's no way to get out through here. How dry I am. Oh God, I'm like so wiped right now. How about that? We haven't been buried up by the sand. You'll have a pleasant rest here. One night's 150 Rio. Now nah, I'm good. Yeah. You really shouldn't go to the one next door. Why not? It's 100 Rio cheaper. Wow, the guy who runs the place next door has got my respect. He'd still run his business even with sand pouring in. Nah, that's probably typical for a businessman. It probably is. How wet I'll be. Sarah's art gallery in Liquor Village is quite impressive, actually. You should check it out. A oh, Liquor Village? It's southeast from the Crane Shrine. But it's hard to get there with the desert and all. My boss was overjoyed. Shutting Rokosuke's store is gone. Isn't that terrible? I wish this store would get swallowed up by the sand. Damn, that's rough. Welcome, I'm sorry to say, we're the only weapon shop in Crane Shrine. May I help you? Let's see, Stormblade. Thunderblade, that's even better. Iceblade. Doesn't seem to be any better. Hmm. Let's get that. Greenleaf armor. Oh, I can't afford it. Right, hold on. My spending has caught up with me, finally. No big deal. I'll sell some stuff. Uh, let's see. Sell... This. I don't think I really need this. Sell that. Sell that. Sell the garden shears. I'm keeping the shitty stuff, just in case. Still the storm blade. Alright. Get that. Get that. Alright. I'll be fine here. No matter what happens, we can keep selling our products. There are eight immortal hermits here in the Crane Nation. You should go and look for them all. There's an especially stubborn hermit who lives in the capes in the northwest. Ah. Ah. 
What do we got? A starlight. Starlight. A something, something. I don't know the words. All right. Oh, it's the Hero of Fire. I've got a great selection here. Put these to good use against the Hell Spawn. Ah, nothing that I need. All right. All right. I'll be waiting to hear some good news. Are you tired of walking through the sand? Why not enjoy some refreshments here? I mean, you don't have anything I need, but alright. I see. Thank you very much. I'm fed up with this. The crane shrine is buried in the shrine sand. My hair is an absolute mess. The divine crane is sealed away. The monsters are attacking, and the hero of fire isn't coming. Oh, but I am. <laughs> Liquor village to the southeast is also in trouble. Sand has started to spill out of the well, from what I've heard. That doesn't sound good. Sounds kind of kind of sandy. The town is completely turned into a desert, and there's no water. What should we do? Somewhere in the Crane Nation, there is the Crane's Fountain, from which the water of life pours endlessly, or so I've heard. It's gotta be somewhere around here. I'm sure it's somewhere around here. Yeah. Mate, so where's the Crane Shrine? Hey, Moogle! Oh, wait, this must be it here. The shrine up ahead was completely buried in the sand. The divine beast was sealed away, too. Tenjin and one of the beautiful hermits went to the phantom castle, but I heard they got taken by the enemy. What's going to happen to the crane nation? Only good stuff, don't worry. I'll figure it out. Oh. This is bad. Really bad. Mai's daughter was kidnapped by the hellspawn. That doesn't sound good. Now we're in East 5? Yeah, pretty much. It's Sara. It was Sara. Sara's the one who kidnapped my daughter... Chitose. I almost said Clitose. I almost said Clitose. I was like, Clit? What? No. Ch Chitose. Chitose. I heard a rumor that she has my daughter on display in an art gallery in Liquor Village. Please save my daughter. Save Chitose. Will you go and rescue her? I will, eventually. Thank you very much. I heard that Chitose is being displayed in an art gallery in Liquor Village. Actually, Bainan, the beautiful hermit, went with Sir Tenjin to save Chitose, but neither of them are returned. I'm concerned about them as well, but I'm absolutely sure that my daughter Chitose needs your help. Well, get on it. A cool pill. Too cool for school. Might as well use it. Oh, what am I maxed? Use it on her then. There we go. My coolness is maxed or something? Hold on. Let's see. Because he's at rocking the coolness, and she's at pretty cool now. Okay. Whatever. The statue of the crane has been buried. You are the hero of fire I've heard so much about. You're Sir Hygen, aren't you? I've been waiting for you. The divine crane has been sealed away by a servant of Ninigi, the ruler of hell. And from her phantom castle, she has stolen the water of the crane nation turning it into a desert. Not only that, she has also kidnapped Chitose, the daughter of mine. My Shirnui. Tension went to save her, but fell into a trap. And I hear they are being put on display in an art gallery in Liquor Village. Hi again, hero of fire, please save Tension and Mai's daughter Chitose. Defeat Sara, that vile woman in the Phantom Castle, and free the Divine Crane from its seal. Alright, no pressure, right? Eh? Yep, there's the crane. The Divine Crane has been sealed away. It sure has. Okay. You know, I was thinking maybe I should get that calm. Where was that guy? Right here, right? Sealed away like Mitt Romney's presidential aspirations? Oh, shit! Oh, wait, no, that's the article guy. Where was that peddler dude that had the, uh... That comb for sale? I talk to you. Mitt Romney as well, though. He, he don't stand a chance either. Oh, this is new. Hey, you gotta do something about this. The Singles Tea House, my youth, my love, oh, say go. Oh, God. Where was the guy that sold? Maybe he was in here. 
I was thinking maybe I should get that comb for um, for Subaru. Oh god, where was it that it sells it? I'm probably going to be able to afford it, but I should get it, right? That's my thinking, at least. I don't think it was you. No. It wasn't you. Dude, where was the guy that sold that autumn comb thing? Was it somebody in the inn? Like maybe this dude here? No. Uh, I don't think there was any debt but he done here other than the receptionist. Yeah. So I was thinking maybe I should buy that. It did seem like really good. Same shit. <laughs> Definitely not in there. I checked that. Am I tripping? It might have been, you know what? It might have been the tea house. I don't know if he would have been more successful as Willard. I. I think he would have been more successful if his opponent was. Not Barack Obama. You know what I mean? No, you don't sell it. God, where was the... Where was the fucking peddler dude that sold the autumn comb? Mm. Was it you? Yeah, I think so. Alright, it's 8,000. Let me see if I can scratch that up. That's all I'm at. Alright, so I need to get up 8,000 Rio. Okay. I could do that. Do a little grinding for money, that's all. Right? In the meantime, I might as well check out the grotto that I know is around here somewhere. What are you talking about? Whoa, what are these things? Damn. They were talking about Northwest Tornado. Damn. Envoy of the Dusty Winds. All right, we got to confuse. Let's see what they're weak to. Fire, water, wind, and bolt. All right. Sixty-nine to crab. Calm down, Moogle. Wait, you know what? Go ahead and do um, electric catfish. There we go. You get good money for the uh, battles around here. I'm noticing. Yeah, it's definitely a grotto. Coral Sway. Alright. Bunch of new enemies here. Damn, I've taken some. Alright, so I got Daughter of the Coral, Man Eating Pond Snail, and Snail Reaper. You just attack. Oh, nice. Catfish from Luffy. Yeah, yeah, kinda, right? I thought that would work really well. Yeah, it won't take long to get 8,000 like this. Hermit Grotto, yep, that's what I thought. Who's there? Hmm, young men of the Fire Clan. You're the hero of fire? You've really come. But I, I, I won't give it to you, I won't. 
This is my scroll. I'm the stubborn hermit, and I've kept this scroll safe for 600 years. The Fire Clan? Ah, oh, you remember the Fire Clan. So I have to give it to you. I have to give you this scroll. I insist. It belonged to the Fire Clan 600 years ago. You must take it. Hygen's party obtained the Rock Scroll. Rock and roll! Listen up. Listen to me. This scroll, Rock, tightens up your muscles. It gives you a body of steel, deflecting enemy attacks. That's right, it protects you. You there. Why? Why do you have the Rock Scroll? You belong to the Fire Clan? Man, then it's okay. But only because you do. Now you must fight for the future of Japan, just like your ancestors did 600 years ago. This guy's slowly losing his mind. Actually, it's happening rather rapidly. So how much money I got now? I got... Oh, I'm halfway there. 4,000. All right. <laughs> Snail Reapers. All right. Such so as defense up? Yeah. I think another shot of that instead of a catfish would be fine. Or not. Yeah, you suck. Poisonous moths, huh? Let's see what they're weak to, just to know. Bolt, alright. This definitely won't take long. New enemies! A lot of new enemies in this area, huh? Army ant and a horn knight. All in! Oh, he's summoning, huh? Alright, let's see what kind of weaknesses we got here. Pretty much everything. Alright. It's Zot. Oh my god. Zot the Mighty! Well, lightning's definitely not hurting those little guys as much. Uh, oh, I'm out of that. Do gush, I guess. Oh no. Gotta get that big guy. Reflection. Oh my god, really? Oh dear. this. I remember uh, reading about that. Ballots are just sort of chaotic. God, they keep calling in new guys. I guess I can uh, have him do this. Just hope to hit them all, and... and she's pretty much out of magic, so. Lightning really doesn't hurt them that much, though, is the problem. I'll try Gush, I guess. Not the same. They didn't summon anybody. God damn it. How the hell am I going to end this? I think there's only one way to do it. I really had that armor there. I could have sold that. Um... Where the hell is the item I'm looking for? I 
can't find anything right now. I'm looking for the starlights, and they're just not here. Oh, right there. Gotta take them all out at once, otherwise it's just never gonna end. Damn, really? Oh, I should have had him. Fuck. Please don't call in anymore. Okay, we good. We got it. Wow, 2200 for that, though. Hygen's level 25, though. Stay at the end real quick. The cheap end. How much do I got now? 70. Okay. I might be able to, by selling that willful armor, have enough to. Not in there. Where's that in? In, 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 in. It's like, this is an in. It's an in, 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 in. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Where did the guy go? Uh, I know he's on the right side. At least I thought he was. Abram. Oh, hey, this is this guy. Abram. JJ Abram Lincoln. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, it gives me more than enough. Get this comb. So I'm thinking that, that seems really good for her. Take this off. Uh, there we go. Oh God, really? Ah, this is this is annoying. Okay. You do the big electric catfish. It's just an expensive technique to use. And hopefully he can finish them off here. I think they counted that ballot for Lincoln? There's the question, right? Damn. Probably, yeah. I guess it depends on who it was, right? That was doing the counting. Yeah, that's true. But I could see somebody, maybe, you know, somebody from the South being like, this ain't no guy. I ain't counting that shit. I ain't never heard no Abraham. Here, one vote for Abraham Lincoln, whoever the hell that is. Got a message on my phone that says, eat ass. <laughs> now, what in the hell does that mean? I'm very uncomfortable right now. Let me see if I can fix this chair a bit. Wow. 
Oh, that is an improvement. Oof. Yeah, exactly. Alright, Subaru is level 26. Good for her. It's buggy, as in there's bugs. Aha, uh -huh, there's definitely something there. Rat village? Rats! 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 Alright. Well, something's happening. I'll do it! I'll do it! Let me open it up! Palm trees and eight. More bugs in Hollow Knight. Damn. References. Subaru op opened the treasure chest for Hygen. Subaru found the Wind Falcon. Alright, so she's got another skill. Cool. Seem to be much to this place. Psh, you interested in a sand rat cart? You'll be able to race across the sand with one. Who said I'd sell you one? I only offer rentals. You can ride one for 200 Rio. Well, would you like to rent one? Shit yeah. Psh, thanks a bunch. Sand rat cart is in front of the store. Just climb in and ride around. If you leave the cart behind and it returns here, the rental's over. Sand rats are capricious by nature. Just hope that you'll be able to use it for a long time. Interesting. Woohoo! Go, Red! Go! Go! She seems very excited about this. Oh, it's a lot faster. So let's see if we can find Liquor Village. It should be... Oh, there. There we are. Hopefully it sticks around. Alright. Hey, what's up? Damn, Sara. Shit. Damn this old Liquor Village. Shit. Damn this sand! Shit! All the sand coming out of that well. Shit! We can't even make any liquor now. What are we gonna do with all the liquor? I think this is Tourette's guy, right? Shit! Ah, oh, bullshit! Shit! Not many people walking around outside, huh? More and more sand keeps coming out of this well. The village is going to turn into a desert, too. And it's all because Sara came to this village. Someone, anyone, defeat Sara. Aw, oh, the well's completely buried by the sand. All we can do now is rely on the group that went to the Ripple Grotto north to retrieve the water of life, huh? Aha! Uh -huh. Makes sense, yeah, why not? This is Sara's art gallery. How dare she set up something like this in our village? She even put up the beautiful Hermit Bainan and Tenjin and Chitosi on display. Isn't there anyone who could save them? Well, I'll work on it. I did see that, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to join tonight just because it's just I'm tired and medicated. Um, I did want to see that movie, but I, just, I think I'm going to have to skip out tonight. There are people who can't get into their own homes because the sand that has spilled into the house is here. It's getting about that ibuprofen time soon, I think. Alright, let's start actually looking inside these places. Four dollars! Now that's gangsta. Welcome. I'm sorry, but we're charging the standard fare now. Is there something you'd like to buy? Yeah. It's literally all uh, souvenirs and uh, accessories. We're holding a time bargain sale from 5 to 8 p.m. We get 20% off all sales. No. I'm Rokusuke. I run a great weapon shop in the northwest at the Crane Shrine. My shop got buried by the sand, though. That's why I'm in a bit of a fix here. It really is a great shop, seriously. We have life-saving katanas and piercing spears. If this desert ever blows away. I'll reopen my shop, and you can see for yourself how great it is. Let's check out the end. 
The sand out there is getting terrible, I say. You should get some rest now for the time being and have a nice dream. Well, let's do it. Why not? Let's see if we actually have a dream. Looks like there's going to be another dream. Interesting. Whoa. Oh, heading out? Well, take care of yourselves out there, huh? Take care not to forget those dreams of yours. Boy, they sure ran over there fast. Four dollars. Mm -hmm. oh, I got a tea house. I can't offer you any tea because there's no water, but I can get you anything else for you? No. Oh, it's a tea house and no tea? Come on, get out of here. It's like those coffee houses in the Netherlands. The Crane and Turtle Crossing is in the chasm to the northeast. From there, you could reach the Turtle Nation, but right now there's a forest blocking the way, so you can't get through. Oh, the Hero of Fire. Have you met up with the Booming Hermit? Ah, uh, no. Then you should head to the small shrine to the southwest. Okay. The Booming Hermit has a secret skill called the Booming Cutter, and he's waiting to show you how to use it. Okay, Boomer. There are so many barrels for liquor, but none of them contain a single drop. That sucks. I'm so sorry, I can't sell you any liquor. Sand is spread all over town, and it's turning into a desert here. We can't make any liquor without water. Yeah, generally you need water. Not more Swedish either. <laughs> That's true. Don't go outside. If you get captured by Sara, she'll turn you into a statue of sand. Doesn't sound good. No, I'm far too busy right now. Far too busy. Get out of the way. Everyone's been taking refuge in this house after all, you know? Yeah, it seems that way. It's a popular spot, huh? Oh, it's the Hero of Fire. Please, tell the beautiful Kermit, Karen, this for me. Tell her that her brother Bynan has been captured along with Tenjin, and that they're being held prisoner as statues of sand. Oh, Hero of Fire, have you met with all of the immortal hermits yet? The Witch Hermit is in a small shrine to the northeast, okay. And far to the west is Bucking Hermit. You should meet with both of them. All right, more info that we need. I run a weapon shop, but my shop got buried in the sand, and I can't do any business now. If only all that sand hadn't appeared, I could have sold you some nice stuff. If only... Without water, we've all been nibbling at raw rice. No matter how hard things get, this village just can't throw it all away. We've all just have to pull together and get through this. Raw rice, though, that's, that's, that's fucked up. Damn. They say the center of the Crane Nation has turned into a desert, you know? Well, Liquor Village is still standing for now, at least. The Book Hermit is buried under... The Bolt Hermit, rather, is buried under the sand, right? I wonder if he'll be okay down there. I'm sure he's fine. Alright, let's go in here. This is my castle, the Phantom Castle, Sarah. Lounging on the desert sand, drifting, drifting through the land. The moon does rise, the people sing. And not a single town will stand. I've been waiting for you, hero of fire? That doesn't rhyme. Ah, shit. What? Are you really? Yeah, that's me. I expected that you'd be as beautiful as Tenjin being a hero of fire and all. You're just a boy. No, this is no fun, no fun at all. Raid, it was a cold one, and Akamara was ugly. Hearing that you defeated them made me expect you to be a much more beautiful. I'm sorry, but you don't really fit well here with the rest of my exhibits. But since you came all the way here, I might as well show you my collection. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, mm, mm, mm. I haven't introduced myself yet, haven't I? 
I'm Sarah, spelled with the landers for sand and silk. Easy to remember, isn't it? Mm, mm, mm. What a weird old lady, huh? Huh, hi again? This is happening. Take a look at this one. Mm, mm, mm. This is Tangent. Isn't he beautiful? He's the true hero of fire. The gallant and beautiful Tenjin, and he's all mine! And this is Bainan, also known as the Beautiful Hermit. He's part of my B-Class collection, of course. This girl was given the blessings of the Divine Crane. She is Chitose, the daughter of Mai. As the chosen one of the Crane, she is said to be the most beautiful. How lovely. Mm, mm, mm. Well, she's a bit lacking according to my tastes, though. There are plenty of other wonderful exhibits here for you to peruse, and maybe... Mm, mm, mm. Maybe you could come to my castle, the Phantom Castle, if you can, that is. Mm, mm, mm. I might even make you a part of my exhibit. Take your time and look around, okay? See you later, shitlords! Okay. I'm gonna go look for that. Oh, that booming grotto. Says I check out what's up here. This is a statue of Ninigi, the ruler of hell. Oh, how dashing he looks, Sara. This is the head of the divine crane. Well, it isn't really, Sarah. This is the head of a sand rat. Isn't it just so cute? This is the head of the divine turtle. Just kidding. You know, it's kidding, right? She actually wrote all that. Oh. The eyes of Nindigi, ruler of hell. That gaze gets me hot every time. Jesus Christ, this lady needs to get some dick. It would look odd with only one of them, so I left this one here too, that's all. It's rather dreary in here without anything else, so I put this up temporarily. Hmm. Nymphomani? I don't think she's anything like that, but... This one's evil. <laughs> it looks like the rat left, but that's okay. Uh, it's at southwest, I think, actually. I'll help myself to this! Oh, fuck off. I gotta kill it before it runs, huh? Oh, wait, was it not this guy? Uh-oh. Yeah, it was the Steelipedes. Dead! Ah. Yeah, they just stealing my Rio. No, I think he's out. Oh. Alright, let, let's try... Uh, let's try Wind Falcon. You haven't seen it yet. Not bad. All right. Should give me all my money back. Aberration. A what? Aberration. The hell is this thing? Lingering moth. The fuck was that? Oh, hell of money. I mean, some of that was stolen from me, but all right. Yeah, I think they said. Oh, maybe it is this way. It was either northwest. I think it was north, the southwest rather. All right, desert hunter, huh? Okay. Self-defense instinct. Ah, poisoned her. Now they're both poisoned. Damn! How are you still alive, sir? I mean, you can't poison me any more than I already am, so... Oh, damn it. Ow! That's nasty. Finally. Oh, God, really? This 
69 him and he's confused. Nice. Damn, that was rough. <laughs> Are you the young man of the Fire Clan? I'm the Booming Hermit! Now let us duel. Step forth, Hero of Fire. If you could beat me, I will offer you my Booming Cutter. Well, you coming at me or what? Let's do it. Alright, young man of the Fire Clan. Let's go. Booming Cutter. Oh my god, dude, really? I'm probably dead. Yeah. He critted me. How could I... <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Wait. Are you the hero of fire in name only? I think you need to cool off a little while and come back. <laughs> well, I could probably do that. It's just he critted me, so that kind of sucked. Alright, shut up, dude. It's too bad that it's one-on-one -on -one and you can't have super help in you. A hundred he's doing. Let me try... Singe on him, maybe. Ugh. Guy's a little tough. Healing? Fuck off. Wow. Okay, boomer. Let me see some here. Uh, I know I have a good healing item somewhere in here. Well, actually, I might have used it. All right, I'll just use the scroll. Stop doing that, you piece of shit. Fuck, man. Can you just stop doing that over and over again? Can't you do a regular attack every once in a while? There we go. No, not sight! Oh, I meant to use this. I use sight. Fuck. Physical fire, huh? Maybe I should have been using blazing cutter then. I'm using all the magic for healing. Oh, fuck off. Don't accidentally use sight. Will you stop fucking doing that? I can't use zest anymore. Attack. Oh, I got him. Wow. That was down to the wire. Holy shit. <laughs> I knew you could do it. Well done, I again. Hero of Fire, well done indeed. I hereby entrust you with the Booming Cutter. I can obtain a secret skill called the Booming Cutter. Like, damn, bro, really? The Booming Cutter is a sword skill that explodes your own health in order to crush your opponent. Oh, really? But since it uses your own health, you cannot rely too heavily upon it. Now go, Hygen, Hero of Fire. Crush your enemies with the Booming Cutter. Do I need to heal? No, I'm good. Alright. Well, that was something. 
Hmm. This obviously leads somewhere. Oh, another one of those assholes. Let's try it out! Not amazing, to be honest. Not amazing. I'm trying to kill this guy before he poisons both of them. There we go. Aberration! Well, damn. Don't, don't do that. That's fine. They're both confused. It's not like I can do anything here. Oh, how do you hit yourself with the sword? Oh, well, he's down. That's just fantastic. Ah. Oh. Thankfully, I saved not too long ago, but still, that's like, come on, man. Really? Really? Where am I back at? Yeah. I guess I gotta do this again, huh? What a pain in the ass. I gotta fight that guy again! Oh no! Let's get through this real fast. I think what it's coming down to is I need to grind for levels. I absolutely need to do that at some point. definitely be a higher level than I am. Because that was rough. Yeah. Well, I haven't done much grinding, so that's probably part of it. You know? I've been kind of coasting through the game for the most part. Pain in the ass. Um, no, I didn't want anything here. All right. Let's see if there's anything I wanted to do here, but I don't think so. Right. Okay, we'll get the rat thing, and then. You know. No. Wait. Oh, 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 okay. I didn't lose that much as I thought I did. So it's really just fighting that guy. But I was thinking maybe I should get him up a level before I attempt to fight the guy again, right? Having both characters get confused like that, and now they're both confused. I have no control over this whatsoever, like... Okay, he's not confused anymore, so there's that. Jesus Christ. I already, damn. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try and level him up at least once before I go fight the guy again. Because that was tough. Like, I feel like I barely did that. Oh, that's right. I needed to use a... Jesus Christ. No, that's sort. An antidote. Thank fuck I had saved it kind of recently. Needs to not have to watch the dream again. Oh, I do. Never mind. I'm just going to show you the dream each time, huh? That's annoying. Mm. It is the same exact thing, so...
How close is he to leveling? Let me see. Uh... Not very, not very uh, far at all. Let me hold your stuff for a bit. Oh no. Barefoot grazers, huh? Oh no. Uh, let me see what they're weak to, if anything. Extreme weakness to water. All right. No, not that, right? That could have been worse. Yeah, well, it wouldn't take me long to level up, so... Oh, God damn it with these things! That is irritating. There we go. Getting a lot of um, money, but not so much experience points. Why do they always go first? Holy shit. That's only annoying, to be honest. Let me try Water Wind, see what that's like. It's not that great. I was just curious about it. Raising your speed when you've already outsped me. Alright, that's fantastic. Try and run back to that again. Holy shit. Gotta go through the dream again, though. That's the thing. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of money, but not so much a lot of experience, but it's not that long before he can level up, and then hopefully the battle won't be as hard. Hard. Could be worse. Don't do that! Oh, no! And of course, it always hits both of them. Alright, good. Yeah, do it. I don't care. No, oh, it's like nothing. Alright. Die already, you piece of shit. Flight stone. Let's see. Only 50 more virtue. Um, fucking pieces of shit. What do you mean the symbols appearing over the enemies? The symbols don't appear over the enemies when I'm confused. It appears on the status on the very bottom. Yeah, this isn't so bad. They haven't tried to steal any money from me yet. That's fine. God, just not, just barely not enough. God damn it. Alright, um. Son of a bitch! 
I think it's, it's confusing the enemies as well when it does that, so... It's confusing everything on the screen. Ah! Yeah. Jesus Christ. Alright, high gun leveled up. That's what I was looking for. Back to Liquor Village. Hmm. It might be smart to just, instead of trying to fight him now, to um, stop for now. Level up some more off stream, and then next week come back and uh, do it again, you know? So I think that's what I'm going to do. It's a little early, but I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm still not 100% here. Uh, I feel a lot better than I did yesterday, but the medication has got me a little low, well, well, right? So, that being said, I think we're going to stop for now. So let me uh, let me go over the schedule for you guys, and then we'll do a raid. So guys, tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to be playing RFL Enhanced Edition for Steam. Saturday night, I'm going to be playing Suikoden 4 for the PlayStation 2. Uh, Sunday night, I'm going to be playing East Origin for Steam. I'm going to be starting Tolfax uh, Story. Monday afternoon, we're going to be finishing up... I don't know if we're going to be probably finishing up Rage of the Dragons for the Neo Geo. Uh, Tuesday night, we're going to be playing... Hello. Ender Lily's Quietest of the Nights for Steam. Uh, Wednesday afternoon, we'll finally be returning with probably what's the end of Pokemon Fire Red version for the Game Boy Advance. And then Thursday night, a week from today, Far East of Eden Zero. And I don't usually go past that, but, you know, next Friday, obviously no stream. I'm having freaking surgery on my mouth. Hopefully I recover from that quickly. I don't have to take too many days off here. But let's go over here and let's see who we have online that we could raid. No, it's not that the attack... It's it's that that attack confuses everybody. It confuses the enemies and, and the party. Um... I think I'm going to... Uh, I think we're going to go for Atsumoru, who's playing uh, Shining Force 2. So let's do that. <laughs> oh. I need I need to fix my headpads. Goddamn and creative point. Get the fuck out of here. And me. let's uh go back to regular Atsumori. I, I wasn't gonna say anything, but this headpad. Oh, did I spell it wrong? <laughs> there we go. I must have spelled it wrong. Uh, let's change that let's let's borrow a joke that's from June. Yes. Come on, fingers. All right, guys. There is your raid call. Copy that. Paste it as we head into um, <laughs> Atsubo Kofuhara stream. He is playing Shining Force 2 on the, on the Sega Genesis, I believe that is. Uh, let's head over there. I'll see you guys on Discord. I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon for RFL and just around in general. Here we go. Fucking shit.